Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gary McCord for EA Sports, welcoming you to the beautiful Pebble Beach Golf Links. David Faraday is on the course with us today and will be following the players. Let's send it down to the first tee. You were also joined by golf icon Richard. I'd just like to make a correction. It is actually the Manor House Golf Club, not Pebble Beach. Okay, that. Looks like this one's heading in the right direction. Yeah, you are. Oh, what a shot! That's a lovely stroke. Just short of the green, we should have a good chance to settle for a birdie or a par. Oh, that's, uh, that's looking on the money. I'm no fortune teller, but this should be on the green. Oh dear, oh dear. Just pulled it left. Opened for play in November of 1998, this spectacular new addition is sure to test your mettle. Designed by Jack Nicholas, this beautiful new par 3 sits naturally upon the bluffs overlooking Stillwater Cove. The safest play is to the left center of this green. Hard luck, just short of the green again, might have just rolled into the bunker there. What a superb shot, that's straight on the green. Oh, he's throwing his club down in disgust, he is not happy with that one. But I'm sure he can recover. Chip on the green and down for a par. Stuart has the length just left of the green there. Might have a long putt or need to chip on. It's the toughest hole on the course. Take aim at the left center of the fairway. Hit it long and beware of the bunker on the left. There is a deep bunkered gully left and short that will punish any kind of a limp or timid approach. I will just add to that, David. It is a par four. The green can be driven. Downhill, 309 yards. It's always worth a go. If you get on the green, you're going for an eagle. You've got to go for it. Always oh, bending it like Beckham. Seems to work out for him though. Just right under the fairway. That's fine there. Stuart just composing himself for a big hit, hopefully. Can he go for the green? Oh, that's a big one. He's on the green. What a shot. He's on the green. On the green. Unbelievable. Here's the founder. Golf icons, Richard. He's composing himself for a big hit. Oh, he's had his wheat a bit this morning. Yes, that's on the green as well. Hole number nine on the par three. Slightly uphill, 183 yards. A couple of bunkers around the greens. Looks fairly straightforward for a par three. No excuses here. Can you retake that, please? I did not. Yeah, I thought, I thought it might be. Going. All right. Balls are spraying about all over the place on this hole. We are on the 11th now, par 3, 222 yards. It's another long par 3. 
but it is downhill, so it's not as daunting as it sounds. Surrounded by plenty of hazards, trees, bunkers, rough. Has to be accurate off the tee here. Just short of the bunker. Oh dear. Absolutely awful. Awful. Straight in the trees. See you later. That's a nice steady swing. Should be close to the green that. Now for my personal favourite. Downhill on a cliff edge, par 3, it's only 154 yards but it's high up and you've got to land it on a small green. Right, Richard first off the tee, composing himself. Let's see what he can do. It's a nice strike. Yeah, that's safely on the green. Great shot. Fox. It's gone long. It's gone long. Can he hang on? Yeah, just at the back of the green. Nice shot. That's a nice strike. Very nice strike. Yeah, just at the front of the green. That's a good shot, that does. Another high one, as expected. Yeah, that's on the green. On the green. Four nice oh. shots there. Uphill par four that plays longer than the yardage. Line up over the right edge of the fairway bunker and try and hit some kind of a draw to get it as far up this fairway as possible. Yeah, that's fine, that is. She's gone the same place as me. It's okay though. Yeah, yeah shot down the middle. It's come down the same line as mine, mate, while the tree's trying to 